So for a month or so now, my bandsaw has been out of commission because of the wheels that the blade runs on. There's what's called a bandsaw tire that cushions the actual metal to metal contact and makes it so that everything runs smooth. Well, mine has popped off. I finally ordered some new ones. So in this video today, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can change those out and make everything run smooth. Plus, I'm gonna do a couple extra things to make my bandsaw even better than it already is. All right, so if I open this up, you'll see that there's a wheel here and uh, my blade is here. Here's my tire off of its rim, so to speak. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut that off because it is useless now. And I ordered the same tires that I did as last time. My top tire is still in really good shape, but I'm gonna treat it like my car. And since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and replace both. That way everything runs smooth. Ta-da! You're here to learn about how to change out bandsaw tires, not how to properly dust your shop. Do not do what I just did, and if you do, wear a mask. All right, so for this next part, we're off to an unlikely place, the kitchen. So uh, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and cook your tires. Obviously you don't want to eat them, but uh, you do want to cook them. If you want to get scientific, boiling your rubber will expand the particles of the rubber, and then because of that, it will be a lot more stretchy. That way, whenever you go to put it over the wheel, it just sets right on there, and you don't have to fight it. Don't forget this step, most important step. You can wait just a few seconds, and uh, they're still pretty warm and flexible, but they're not burning my hands, so yeah. Now that it's on, you just want to center it up on your wheel. When changing out your blade, hopefully this goes without saying, but you need to make sure your teeth are facing down. All you gotta do is get it started on your bottom wheel. And then there's a little knob up here at the top. And just like that, we've got two new bandsaw tires and a new bandsaw blade, easy as pie. Another thing that I've been wanting to address is this chewed up plug for my it's in a really bad space. It's all jacked up, so it's going in the trash. Ta-da! I just recently got a 3D printer and I am stoked to have been able to print my own bandsaw throat plug. I'm gonna slap this thing in and see how it does. And if it holds well and does well, then I have an unlimited supply of these little caps. Now all that is left to do is to turn it on and pray it doesn't explode in my face. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that is the video. I know it was a short one this week, but this is some maintenance I've needed to do for a while on my bandsaw, and maybe it's about time for you to do the same. So, hope you got something from this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.